Here at Next Wave with Tim, CNC Technology has met a router table and they had a love child that's amazing. So show us what's going on here. Okay, this is the RS1000 Pro. So it's specifically designed to take just about all of the setup time to zero. As simple as you can do with a touch plate, which would be on normal CNC, I can know the height and the edge of the bit with a simple touch off. So from this, you have simple, if you were just using it as a normal router table, it removes all the nudging, all the things that you would normally have to do. Well, I am trying to stick a ruler in here and determine my position. and Try to figure out the height, try to figure out the fence, and there's no blocking, there's no anything like that. Within a thousandth of an inch, I can actually put in specifics and have it move to wherever I want it to do. I can do slight nudging. And all of that capability is there, which is greatly enhances a router table where you would use a tool rather than saying, I got a 20 minute setup. But where it really begins to shine, not only and you have a setup of 20 different positions, but the apps and wizards of normal operations are built into the unit. So, so this is cool because box joint, that's a very common router yep. table application. You've got so much stuff pre-programmed into the machine already. Correct. So if you're trying to do a box joint, if you're trying to do dados, which is one of my favorites, if you're doing a dovetail, sliding dovetail, uh, keyholes, uh, biscuits, there's a key lock miter are all done well, in the thing. That's the big one because lock miters make smoke come out of people's ears. It's a, an easy setup. All you have to do is measure the width of the board and it will automatically Everything set itself up. Everything else is built in. It right. will set it, literally set itself up in a couple of seconds. For the, if you're doing something as simple as fluting as an example, everything is shown as a visual representation and then it just asks you to give you a few simple piece of information, groove count, and then I say go ahead and run the wizard and the unit will then set itself up. And this was is a miter on it. We would of course take this off because we're not using it for a uh, Yeah, we're running uh, long ways, yep. And so it would run through, I would say, next position, it's already done the math for the next groove and you keep running it through. So two or three times, however many grooves you have. And then once I, if it, I could check the product, if it was off or I wanted to have it a little bit deeper, I could just adjust the bit height a little bit more and then just rerun the exact program and so put the, it right back through. The repeatability aspect is crazy cool that it, who doesn't make a mistake every once in a while? You run so, out of the board with, you, may, you cut a wrong board or anything yeah. and you can get right back there. And if and two, if I change, like I think I'm done but I'm not, it turns out I need to run one more piece, everything is already here. Yes. So I'm gonna get an identical piece without trying to figure that out again. Exactly. That's very cool. And one of the things I really like is um, for perfectly sized dados, because like plywood is never really three quarters of an inch. Yes. So we could cut those dados with a half inch, use this technology once it knows the bit diameter to get a 0.72 dado instead of a 0.75 if we needed to. Yes, and it, you would end up passing it through three times, but then you would have an exact match. There's no going to a table saw or everything as long as it's within the parameters, you can actually fit it on the table. That's very cool. That's, uh, no more head scratching. My folding ruler is going to go away. You can't use it anymore. Excellent. <laughs> I've always thought router tables are one of the most universal tools you can put in your shop. There's so much you can do on these. With the addition of electronics like this, oh my gosh, does that make fence positioning and setting height easy?